For this recipe, it's all about the cheese. Soft and cream cheese, that is. About four bricks of it. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, it is. If you're going to make this, please plan on sharing it because you will hurt your own feelings by how much cheesecake you can eat in one sitting. Don't ask me how I know. You'll also need one and a half cups of your choice of sweetener, none at all if you so desire. Start mixing this on low to kind of cream the sweetener and the cream cheese together. If you don't have a stand mixer, a hand mixer works very well here as well. The name of this game is Mix and Scrape Down the Sides. Once your sweetener and cream cheese are homogenous, add in one teaspoon of real vanilla extract, along with one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. This is literally the only thing that makes this pumpkin spice, but it's really all you need. If you eat gourds, I'm certain that about a quarter cup of canned pumpkin puree would make this even more delicious. Next up, we want to crack in three room temperature eggs. Just add them one at a time while your mixer is on low and incorporate completely before adding the next. I'm not 100% sure as to why you do this, but those are the rules I've been blindly following since I've been making cheesecakes. Real quickly, let's talk pans. You can absolutely just pick up some cheap pie pans. In fact, when you use these, the cheesecake cooks faster and cools faster so you can enjoy it a lot sooner. The only drawback is that you don't get the height that you would on something like a springform pan. This one is rather small at 6 inches in diameter, so I suggest you get yourself a 9 inch pan for this recipe. Grab about 1 tablespoon of butter and grease up your pan. The bottom of the springform will absolutely leak, so we need to insulate it as well. Use heavy duty foil here to ensure that you get no leaks from the cheesecake and no water gets in the pan. In fact, double up on it. In order to make doubly sure that our cheesecake doesn't stick to the bottom of the spring form, I'm going to show you how to make a parchment circle. Pull out a square of parchment paper and fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Take the bottom corner and begin to fold it into acute triangles. I'm sorry for the math reference. I know you didn't come here for that. Place this point in the middle of your spring form pan and make a mark at the point on the inside of the ridge. Cut this off and unfold the pointy side. Voila, a circle. Place this down under your pan and now we can finally pour in our cheesecake mixture. Once poured in, give it the patented Chef John Tapa Tapa to get some of the air out of it. Place this down into a deep baking dish or hotel pan. Pour in very hot or boiling water until it's about a third of the way up the side of our pan. Use a measuring cup or just a normal cup to do this because we don't want water in the cheesecake at all. This will make a weird layer or pocket in slash on it. Place this whole thing into an oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes or until it looks a little something like this. This isn't quite done, but what we want to do is to temper it by turning the oven off and cracking the door. Leave it like this for at least a half hour before removing. It's definitely done now and we need to cool it off a little more to room temp, so let it sit for another 30 minutes. After that time, place it into the fridge for three hours minimum. Remove the foil and grab a butter knife. Scrape along the sides and release the cheesecake from the pan. Take the biggest knife you have and run it under hot tap water for about 30 seconds to get a clean cut. Just be sure to dry it off in between cuts. I'm not gonna lie, this is the second cheesecake I had to make. I unfortunately dropped the first one, which was really sad, but this one came out perfect, luckily. Let's take this first bite for our Patreon community. Honestly, this is rather easy to make. It involves some basic techniques and some know-how, but once you master it, it's satisfying every time. 